in theory, an import duty is a consumption tax, and a consumption tax is less destructive than an income tax. But a value-added tax is also a consumption tax, so it's less destructive than an income tax. So if the government in the Bahamas says, well, let's get rid of the import duty and put in a value-added tax instead, if they're doing that in a way that doesn't increase the net burden of taxation, so they're not getting any additional money, then what's the big deal? Right. Now, Which may be a more effective or efficient way yeah. to collect the taxes that should be coming in anyway. Yeah. Now, you do have challenges then. Is that going to apply to the services sector of your economy? Uh, Panama has, uh, the Bahamas has to compete with jurisdictions like Panama, the Cayman Islands, the Channel Islands. Of course, it has to compete with New York, which is a big offshore center. Nobody seems to understand that the U.S. is a tax haven for non-Americans. Uh, the same could be said for London. So, so the Bahamas is competing with a lot of jurisdictions around the world on services. You put in a VAT, you apply it to services, all of a sudden, what's the VAT rate? I don't know, 10 percent, 15 percent? That can wipe out all the margins for the financial services industry, forcing them to raise their prices, which might price them out of the market. So there's always a trade-off uh, in these matters. Uh, on the other hand, if you say we're not going to apply the VAT to services, just to goods, well, that's what the import duty is. So you haven't really changed anything, which is why I come back to what I said before. It's very important for the Bahamas to control